Leonardo AI has been blowing up since the last video I made. And today I want to take a deeper dive in the models and how you can create your perfect own model. If you're tired of AI generators not creating exactly what you want, then using this own personal model can really be a game changer. If you didn't watch my other video on Leonardo AI, I will put it in the description. And in that video, you really see how to start using it and how you can start yourself. But now we're really gonna focus on the models. I already went over this pretty briefly, but Leonardo AI makes it easy to get your own model going and start generating anything you wish. On the left, you can go to fine tune models and here you have the platform models. So these are all the ones that you can use that are from the platform. So all the different styles that you can use. And here one tap to the right, you have the community models and community models are models that other people in the community have made themselves. You really see you can make everything that you want here. Here you have a storybook illustrations. If you want to create stories for a book, you can just use this model because it's already focused on this kind of style. And in the bottom, you see the images that it created with this model and you see how it's built. It's in the category illustrations, stable diffusion version 1.5, and you can just use it by pressing generate with this model. And like this, you have many, many different things. Here you have the sticker design V4. So here you can really just easily create stickers that are gonna look like this. So it's gonna be more consistent than using some other art generator and typing sticker instead of really using the model that's built for it. Here they have isometric sci-fi 3D. This looks super cool. And yeah, you can see that it just, you can really create anything you want. And I think it's just super fun to use. But what is really amazing is that you can create your own models. We start creating our own models by going to the left to training and data sets. When you are here, you already see your data sets. So the ones that I created, you can see the job status. So this is where you see the status of your training. So here you see they're all done and here you see the information. I'm gonna create my own model and I just press here new data set. I'm gonna call it city sky scrapers. In the guide, they explain what makes a good training run. So the good sweet spot is around eight to 15 images. Don't go below five images and it isn't necessary to go higher than 30 and it can potentially even hurt the quality. So minimum five, ideal eight to 15. And what they really say is about the consistency and you want quality over quantity. So if you want a certain style, make sure that all the images really have the same style and not that there are a couple added that are a bit different because then your model will be trained a bit different. So really go for quality over quantity. So I create my new data set and call it city skyscrapers, just create. And now here we can start adding the example images. And now the hard part is to really get consistent images. So I like the look of this one so that it's from a bit of a distance and you just see high buildings. So I think I'm gonna use images like this and I just do right click and save image as, and I'm just gonna make sure that I get around eight good images that really have this kind of style. And just make sure that the images you use are really similar. Now I have eight images and I can go back to Leonardo and drag and drop the files or click here. So I have my folder with all the images. I'm just gonna select them all. And like this, they're just being added. And now we see that we have the eight images here. They are being used in the data set. And here on the right, you can press train model. If you don't like one, you can click on it and you can remove it just like that. But now I'm just gonna train the model. And here we have a couple of options. Okay, the model name will be city skyscrapers. We can do a training resolution, which we want. And we can choose a category. And this actually fits with buildings. So I'll make sure to select buildings. But if you have characters, you can go for this. If you have stickers, choose vector and pixel art. You can really choose what you need for your model. I choose buildings and you can choose stable diffusion 1.5 or 2.1. 1.5 performs well in general. Stable diffusion 2 performs better with realistic. So I'm maybe gonna go for stable diffusion 2.1 for this one. And you can just have an instance prompt. Just describe your images in two, three words. I'm just gonna use a city skyline. You can press start training. Each month you can create 10 different models. Let me just press start. And now their training is in progress. We will email you when it's complete. And it depends on the size and how busy it is. It can take anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours. I had a couple that were finished in 10 minutes. So that was really fast. But if it's more busy, yeah, it can take a bit longer. So this one is now training and I want to show some other data sets that I created. And this is a Tokyo tilt shift. So I used all different tilt shift images from Tokyo. And the nice thing is you can just go to left AI image generation. So here on the left, you can select your model. I do select custom model and here I have my Tokyo tilt shift. Just press view 
they can generate with your own model. I'm from the Netherlands, so I want to have Amsterdam with sunset and I don't have to type any tilt shift or anything because it's trained to create these images like I want. And now we just wait and I should get a tilt shift version of Amsterdam with sunset. So I'm super curious how it looks. They also give examples for good and bad data set of images. So this one here, you see that it's very inconsistent images and it's not gonna be a good training for your own model. And here in the bottom, this is a good data set. So you see that these are all kind of similar style. So the model really knows what it needs to do and how to be trained. So this is something to keep in your mind when you are creating your own model, really use consistent images. Amsterdam with sunset in the Tokyo tilt shift model is done and it's actually looking pretty cool. I see this really could be Amsterdam with the water and the streets. And I'm gonna upscale one to see how it looks then because it always looks a bit muddy if you don't upscale the image. So I'm very curious, but it's already really looking good. And while I wait for this one to upscale, I want to show another model that I have. GTA 4 loading screen. Here I have all the images that I just got from Google in a certain style. And I can use this and really get something similar. And if I go to AI image generation and I select my custom model, I can select the GTA 4 loading screen. And you see in the bottom the image that I already created with it. And first I tried to create Margot Robbie, but you see that didn't work because I guess it sees too popular. So it didn't work with the model. But here in the top, I just typed muscular man and I really got something similar with the loading screens. So I'm gonna try one more. This time I'm just gonna do blonde woman. And then we see how that one looks because it's not so specific, so it should be good. Once you go to training and data sets and go to the job status on the right, you can see that it's already done. It only took maybe five minutes. It was super fast. So now I can go to AI image generation and I can create my own image. The blonde woman from the GTA 4 loading screen is finished. This one is the best with the style and the gray background. This arm is a bit wonky. Maybe if we upscale, it looks a bit better. And in the meantime, I want to try out my cityscape. So I go to select model, the city skyscrapers and generate with this model. And I'm just gonna add sunset. And now it should create a city skyline with sunset from the own model I created. And what I really advise you to do is just to go to community models and you will see that there is so many possibilities. And especially if you want to make any drawings or something or some consistent style, you can really see that people created models that you can use for your perfect style. And you can do it also, you know, and there are so much to choose from, so many things to do. So I really advise you to just take a look and go crazy because it's super fun. Here I got my city skyscraper. I'm gonna upscale because it's still a bit muddy. These are not perfect yet, so maybe I can try it a bit different. So now I'll try nighttime in city with a lot of lights. I'm gonna add Leonardo style, why not? Yeah, and the upscaling is still going on, so I think I have to come back to that later to see how the images look after. Okay, now we have the nighttime in city with a lot of lights, and these already look way better. Now I've really got my skyline, and it really looks like an image of the ones that I really added. So I'm gonna upscale. And then we wait a bit and hopefully it's gonna look very good. The upscaling from all my images is done. And here I have the first one, the city. And it's actually looking really good. If you look closely, you see some things that are not exactly how they are supposed to be. But this really looks like an image that I wanted. Here on the right, this one's also finished. And this became more like a drawing, but I guess you can try it out to create the same model with Stable Diffusion 1.5 and just see the differences, you know, for yourself. And that's the fun thing. You can just create your own model, change it a bit, use a different basis for the model so you get different results. This one is ready and the arm is still a different color, but it's really the style of the GTA 4 loading screen. If you see this loading screens here, this is how it looks like. And this is really the style of this one. So that came really close, I think. Here we have the Amsterdam tilt shift image and it's looking pretty good, I must say. It still has a bit of the artsy, like it's almost painted kind of style, but I do really like it and the buildings look similar and I, I really like this one. And it's just so fun to try it out, you know. This was a short introduction on how to use models in Leonardo AI and especially to start creating exactly the art that you want because you can fill it with exactly what you want. You will get exactly what you want. It's just some new feature that we haven't seen before so easily because you can do this manually if you download stuff, but it's just hard to do. And this is just online on the browser and super easy and so accessible for everyone. Just try it out, you know, it's free, why not? The introduction video on Leonardo AI that I did last week, I will put in the description. Please check it out if you haven't. And otherwise, see you next video.